Hey guys, if this is your first time on my channel, I solve Python questions on HackRank and currently I'm solving the interview preparation kit and we're solving this question called New Year Chaos. If you want to see more questions, there's a playlist link in the card provided. You can check that out and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. So let's start with the question. They've given us a queue of people on New Year's Day who are waiting for a roller coaster ride and they are numbered serially from 1 to n and n is the num total number of people in the queue and in this queue a person can bribe the person in front of him and swap positions with that person so the rules are that one person can only bribe two times and he can only bribe the person in front of him so we have to find if this is possible or not in the beginning the array will always be 1 to n and then they would have provided an array of random numbers and we have to find if this arrangement is possible with the minimum number of bribes so for this example here it would be one two three four five in the beginning just a second so it would be one two three four five in the beginning and then 5 would bribe 4 and then come 1 place ahead and then bribe 3 and come 1 place ahead and 2 would bribe 1 and come 1 place ahead so we can get this pattern in 3 bribes so that's how we have to solve this question let's start with it here first I would make a variable called bribe equal to 0 so now we'll just start the loop from the back which is for i in range length of q minus 1 okay till 0 and we would put a minus 1 here so that it iterates from it reduces one quantity every iteration so we're doing this because as you can see in this question this person bribes like this person bribes 4 so if we start from the back it's easier to go ahead so we'll just start from here and now as we can see that we essentially want to make the sorted array so if this index like if the element at q of i is not equal to i plus one because each index is one ahead right like zeroth index has the first person first index has the second person so if q of i which is like if q of five is not equal to the sixth element like the element should be number six then we check if the person in front of him is this person or not so then we check if q of i minus one is equal to i my i plus one so we check if one person ahead of this element here is i plus one and if he is then we increase bribe by one and then we swap those two so we swap i minus 1 with q of i and then we put the other condition of the second bribe so we put elif q i minus 2 because a person could bribe twice right so we put this if i minus 2 is equal to i plus 1 and if it is so then we increase bribe by 2 and now we have to swap i minus 2 with i minus 1 i minus 1 with i and i with i minus 2 so in python this is pretty easy otherwise we would have to use two lines but even that is fine so we can use this q of i so we want q of i minus 2 to be q of i minus 1 and we want q of i minus 1 to be q of i and q of i to be q of i minus 2 so this is it and then we print else it is 2 chaotic so we print 2 chaotic chaotic and then we simply return print as bribe which is the total number of bribes and i think we should print this outside the for loop because it would count the entire number of types here so let's run the code
Um, okay, so I see what's happening here. I think too chaotic is getting printed too many times. That's because we haven't put a return here. So we need to put a void return here so that if it's too chaotic, then it would directly get out of this function. And if it's not, then it would come to bribe. Now I think it should work. Yep, let's submit the code. Okay, it worked. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe as it motivates me to create more content for you. Also to keep adding to the interview playlist so that everyone can prepare for the interviews and so that people can learn the coding skills. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Thank you.